Hunters are one of the strongest classes in Wrath of the Lich King Classic, but one reason we usually don't see them pumping on the meters is because realistically, most people are playing the class wrong. And that really stems from the change in how hunters are at their core. In the Burning Crusade, hunters were the kings of single target DPS. Well, that's no longer the case. But where hunters really shine is this massive burst and AOE damage potential where they can keep this huge DPS sustained throughout the entirety of the raid, especially as you're moving quickly, seeing a lot of shine in something like speedruns, but realistically just seeing hunters staying at the top of the meters throughout a raid if they're played right. And what I mean by played right really is just focusing on getting that overall DPS out as often as possible with these huge damage dealing abilities. Again, being explosive trap and volley. Utilizing these abilities basically on cooldown will add up on the meters hugely, especially as we see bigger pulls happening in Nax and pulls dying even faster. Now it's not just a shift in playstyle from utilizing these abilities that's really gonna see hunters shoot up on the meters. If you wanna see hunters do really well in both dungeons and raid situations, the best things they can do is actually change a bit of their specs. Now if you do utilize a dungeon crawling or overall damage raid spec, it will gimp your DPS on single target situations a bit, but it's not by that much and realistically, it will add up on your overall damage significantly. Also, we do have the ability to change specs mid-raid or every time we get to a boss where you can change to your single target spec. So this is a huge spec if you want to do massive overall damage. Now what I'm talking about is a marksman spec build into survival. This is not your traditional single target marksman spec, but again, this is where we are utilizing everything we can to increase our overall damage. We're specking into talents like barrage where we're increasing our volley damage, also improved barrage where we don't get knockback on volley, and then two things that are really big are actually gonna be trap mastery and TNT, where both of these increase your damage from your explosive traps. So you want to be pumping out as much damage on huge AOE abilities on these big pulls, which is what Nax is all about. Nax is realistically a ton of very big pulls and it's only gonna get bigger. So as you pull smaller, you can actually probably out DPS this spec as survival. But as you pull larger, which is what's gonna happen in Nax Ramus, especially as we get gear, these specs are gonna be huge. Huge. You're going to see crazy damage from Trap Mastery and TNT, as well as insane damage from your volley abilities. And an absolutely key aspect of this spec, or any spec for hunters that are trying to focus on overall damage, which realistically almost every hunter should always be running this unless it's purely a single target spec, is Glyph of Explosive Trap, which makes your explosive traps able to crit on all of the ticks. Now, it's not just the spec you want to focus on, there's a few things you really want to make sure you're doing. One thing I do is whenever I'm about to do major cleave is utilize potion of wild magic. You're not gonna be popping your potions of speed while doing huge cleave damage. You wanna get this spell damage as well as increased crit rating. So utilize potion of wild magic on trash and potion of speed on your single target situation. Another thing you wanna do is make sure you are always misdirecting off cooldown whenever you have a big pull onto your tanks. Right now, threat modifiers for paladins is busted, so they don't have nearly as much threat as they should have. So most of your big DPS, your explosive trap, and the beginning of your volley should all be sent to them, or else you will over aggro 100% of the time and you will die. The next thing to know is we have two rounds of all of our CDs. If you're running the marksman build, we do have readiness. So what this means is you can redo all of your abilities twice. You can drop an explosive trap and misdirect, do a volley, and then do another explosive trap, misdirect, volley, all of that if you want. And then if you're running this build, the biggest thing to do and the biggest mistake you're gonna have is running out of mana. This is something I was running into issues with myself so much on the first few days of running this build until Alondo actually pointed out that I should be utilizing Viper Sing way more often. Viper Sing is hugely clutch on dungeons and raid situations. Anytime you see a target with a mana pool, especially a large mana pool, toss Viper Sting on them while all of the adds are grouping up, and then also shoot out a Chimera shot on them. If you do this and then do your AOE situation, you will literally never run out of mana throughout entire dungeons or entire raids. 
Now there are sections of Naxxramas and there are sections of dungeons where no mobs actually do have mana pools. This is the only times you'll have a little bit of issues. Try to stay ahead of the rest of the group and be drinking whenever you can. Also feel free to utilize mana potions over Potion of Wild Magic if you're in these sort of situations in these sort of sections. And the last thing I would mention is that you could also glyph into Volley if you want, but this will actually grief your single target DPS even more it does help you if you are going to be completely swapping whenever you go into fighting boss situations but if you are doing a spec that is going to last you throughout the entire raid I would personally suggest against this and instead make sure you are utilizing Viper Sting as often as you possibly can. With that being said, you should be able to go into raids and fully top the meters. You can also top the meters on some single target fights, but realistically where your focus is on these overall damage meters. Now this is a full log with our actual SAR 3D attempts as well, so I'm on top here, but Throughout the entirety of Naxxramas, you can see that I'm doing 4.3k DPS, and we actually were not pulling nearly as big as we will be in the in actual raids. There are other classes that will outshine you. Of course, Death Knight is just too powerful, especially with the Broken Sigil, and Warlock is just ridiculous, so you shouldn't be beating them on overall, although this is extremely close as you can see the difference between my damage and Copium, where Copium is almost fully pre-raid Bist for the most part, and I'm stuck with the template gear, which is very mediocre realistically, it's like half Bist, half mediocre gear and Marksman is the build that is the most gear reliant. So you will scale with this build a lot better than anything else. And the last thing I'll say is that I personally would probably go survival for bosses whenever I had the ability to switch for it, or I would run something like the single target Marksman build whenever we're doing something like Sartherion or Malagos, anything like that. But from there, Hunters are one of the most powerful classes in Wrath of the Lich King Classic. So they are gonna see so much use and I think they are one of the most fun classes to play in this game. Hopefully you guys, you enjoyed this and I will share more theory crafting videos moving forward. Also, a shout out to Simon who's gonna come out with a rogue theory crafting video, I think, because he was testing out a Phantom Knives spec earlier today and it was also crazy. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys all on the next one.